Hey there guys, Neil here, back with a game review. Um, this is actually going to be a game review slash first look as I haven't really gotten into playing the actual game, but it has recently been released for a number of platforms, so I'll get to that in a little bit, but um, the game in question is The Walking Dead Michonne. So essentially what this game is, is it um, takes place in from the point of view of Michonne, um, in the Walking Dead universe, specifically between the comics issues number 126 to 139. So in the time frame for when she leaves Rick and the, that group and comes back to the uh, Rick's group. So if you read the comics, you kind of know what that period is there. Um, I have not read any of the comics. I've just been following along with the sh TV show, so I'm not sure exactly... Uh, which time frame this is or if this is yet to come on the TV show but um, in any case I wanted to check out the game see how it is I hadn't I haven't played any of the other Walking Dead games or any of the tell other Telltale games uh, I believe I only played the Game of Thrones one but I haven't um, had a chance to continue playing that recently but um, since Walking Dead is on I thought I'd give the game a shot um, so if you depending on which um, operating system you're on you'll get the um, games tie in there so in this case I'm on Android so I, it ties in with Google Play games um, after you launch the game as well when you start it'll check for any new content and download that if you have a telltale account or an account with telltale games you can sign in um, I think I do but I'll have to I'll check on that later so for now I'll just do no thank you um, you get a pretty good or pretty simple straightforward um, launch screen so nothing too special there so you kind of see what's going on here um, no panning or zooming around I think that was that was there in um, the Game of Thrones game if I remember but um, it's my weird recollection there uh, so there was some game that had it maybe I'm thinking of the room instead um, it's pretty straightforward so in jet I'll start off with some of the settings um, you have your usual controls it gives you the um, what the your um, options will be so where your action keys are cycling through your inventory the pause menu and then how you can move stuff around um, you also get um, audio and video controls so um, how uh, loud or um, quiet you want the volume to be so we'll keep this kind of low here so it doesn't interfere with uh, my talking um, you can have subtitles on and off so I turn them on and how big you want the subtitles to be um, since I am on a I think 4.7 inch screen I'll keep the subtitles uh, small and then you can if you skip the telltale games account login and you want to come back later and log in you can do that as well um, and then if you change any settings, uh, just remember to apply them so they stay saved there. Um, there will be three episodes. Um, this is the first of the three episodes. If you go into here, just be warned there it may be deleted. So, so far, episode one has been released. It's called In Too Deep. Um, this particular um, episode starts you off from the description I saw online that you're on a boat with another group of individuals. So that's kind of where your adventure begins here. And then you can save some money by buying all three episodes at the same time. Um, so that is all for that. I'm not sure why your choices are locked. Maybe something unlocked during the game. So with that, I will start playing the game, see what it's all about. Um so um in this case i am kind of impressed i like the simplicity of the game the models seem close enough it's kind of a mix between um cartoonish and the real thing so you kind of get the actual um character from the tv show's influence but um maybe it's more based on a 3d modeling of the comic book uh character so um initial sc quick screen telling you that the game is will be tailored based on the decisions that you make um i'm kind of glad that i have the closed caption turned on but of course it all depends on you what kind of um, experience you want so we start off with a quick cutscene. um let's go over with michelle walking through the jungle um a lot of different choices going on i guess what with her where she's lost um I actually kind of like the models on her, the model of her face right now. Um, it looks pretty detailed enough. So it looks like we're actually at the point in the backstory, maybe when she's uh, refinding her brother and 
husband, if memory serves, the two zombies that she was walking around with that were the with the tongue and bottom uh, lip or bottom jaw cut off. Um, so quick tutorial um, with the controls. I kind of like that. I'm glad they don't just start you off to leave and leave it to figure out. So we have some mysterious kids um, found in the jungle as well. So so it looks like they've kept the controls pretty consistent with their other games. So things that you can um, action around with, you touch the dot swiping to for motions and things like that so i'm guessing it'll be the same thing with movement maybe dragging the finger around or pointing to a specific area i'm actually kind of liking the details on it it's pretty much there it's kind of along the lines of maybe a max pain one maybe a max pain two i haven't played the third one in that game um just because i never bought a console so i'm not sure how good or bad those um um, that game was the, th the third Max Payne, but um, in any case, I like the first two, so I want to see maybe it's closer to the second Max Payne, so a con um, probably the closest thing to get the game on mobile devices working well. So... And I'm pretty terrible at this, so I'm already dead, but oh well, maybe I need to... Yeah, I kind of like the comic book variation on that, so a quick coloring in the shade of when you die, so let's uh, give this another shot, see how... Ah, okay, that's a little bit better, I guess. Uh, okay, that's what it was. Now I know the square dot. I think is one of those things where you have to keep pressing on it, so it attacks them multiple times. But um, I guess we'll give this one more shot. See if I get it right. Okay, that's a little bit better, I guess. And we get an overview of some raggedy dolls and a robot. Uh, another zombie. So, okay, and the kids are running away, maybe scared. Maybe wondering what's going on, who this random lady is. I guess I'm pretty terrible at this, so I'm going to keep playing the game, but overall I kind of actually like it. It seems pretty intriguing, mm -hmm. so uh, definitely worth a shot. I like the comic book aspect of it. Um, I actually kind of like it a little bit more than, or probably about the same as the Game of Thrones series, but um, I probably like this a little bit more because it de actually deals with one of the main characters. Um, so definitely worth playing um the game is available for a number of platforms including android ios it's available in the uh, um, amazon app store for ps3 ps4 xbox one and xbox uh, 360. Um, i didn't see anything about windows phone so i don't know if it's coming soon but uh, the game is definitely worth a shot um, of course it depends on what kind of device you have as well so look out it'll most likely work better on uh, newer devices. Um, I don't. I didn't actually see any settings for adjusting the um, gameplay quality. So um, there is that. So if you have an older device, it probably won't run, or you can't um, adjust the um, 
video settings or the gameplay settings to lower settings to make it work. So you may need a device that's probably released within the last year or so. Um, I know on the Google Play version of it, they listed the various devices that it's um, that it is compatible with. So um, one of those things to take into consideration. So if your device is on par with the specs of those other devices, you should be good. But uh, just something to keep in mind there. Um, for the mobile platform, the game runs at $4.99 for the console version and uh, Steam it runs at I believe $14.99 so um, definitely check it out. Um, if you are a fan of The Walking Dead, then definitely play it. I only did show off the initial few minutes and in, in, uh, initial screens. I didn't want to um, spoil too much or spend too much time playing the game itself. I mean, as you can tell, I'm not that great at it i'll have to get used to some of the controls maybe play with the volume a little bit louder or something and uh follow along there but um overall i'm actually kind of impressed i like the graphics they're not they're well done but not so overwhelming that there's too much to take in all at once they're um done just right if you ask me um so definitely worth a shot and i might go try out some of the other uh, walking dead games if they're available for android so um, I'll have a link in the sh um, show notes. There's a full blog post and trailer video and all of that uh, good stuff. So I'll have a link to the actual blog post that has a link to the uh, website and where you, all the different platforms you can get it on so uh, you guys can play it for yourself. But um, that this is um, chapter, or, sorry, episode one of the Telltale Games, The Walking Dead Michonne, so you can kind of get an idea of where she's at um when she leaves rick and the green and on her way back i imagine that's where episode three will end unless they decide to do more but um i imagine episode three will end when she rejoins the group so that is actually all for that if you have questions comments uh concerns want more information you can always email me at headphones yahoo.com or find me on twitter at patel n01 but that is all for this particular review. Thanks for watching and listening, and until next time.